think I need a new blade. But I think I'll buy a new machine at the same time. That button barely works. The on off switch doesn't work. And, uh, and the collar doesn't hold tight. So I think a new machine and a new blade. Any excuse <laughs> to go to Bunnings again. I need a coffee anyway. Okay, so I got a brand new angle grinder. It's a bigger one than the old one. Uh, 125 mil blade instead of one uh, 100. Uh, I presume it's more powerful as well, but anyway, it's bigger. It's bigger. Bigger is better. The funny thing about it is, though, that the blade cost $54 and the machine cost $49. I went there not 100% sure I was going to buy a new machine, depended on the price. And when I saw $49.90, I couldn't pass it up, of course. So, I'm going to give it its first task right now. By the way, the old one is 675 watts. This one is 1800 watts. So it's way bigger. I've been working away off camera, but I've come across a detail that I should probably record. This uh, electrical box, I have measured it, measured where it is in relation to the edges of that using a spirit level. Measure across there with the tape using spirit level to line it up. Then measure the box itself measure that distance and now with a square and a straight edge I think I can get pretty close or very close to where it should be on the tile.
by the way, if you're wondering or worried on my behalf that I'm putting that on too thick, I'm not worried because I bought the one product in Bunnings that said it can be used for thick or thin beds and knowing that my walls are not straight or even I went for that product because I can use it thick I'm probably using it thicker than it's supposed to go but it ain't, it ain't coming off um, and it's twice as expensive as any of the others but I had to do it because the wall sounds straight it's a new dawn it's a new day it's a new tile for this bathroom and I'm feeling good so I'm gonna try and finish this bath section today might not make it but I'm gonna give it a crack one tile short of being perfect so this one I was very nervous about I can't break it I have to get it right and I think it went okay put it in place now and see
major tile to go in. I've got no tiles left except off cuts, which you're going to have to fill in that gap there. I will cut that when it dries in place and cut those three in one line when they dry in place. Super happy. It ain't perfect, but it's pretty good. Not bad for an amateur. Right, that'll do me for now. I'll get this video edited and get it out into the world where everyone can have a good laugh. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon with another video.